Kia ora and welcome back to Between Sea and Sky. This episode is about the fabrication of a hard dodger from Shannon. I drew on the cabin top the area which needed to be protected and extended that to the port side vent, including the grab handle, making sure that there were enough clearance with the dodger on. I roughly cut 7mm radiator plywood into the 5 pieces that compose the main structure and scrap then onto the roof. Using a template to keep the same angle on the three front parts and a straight edge on the two sides to ensure that they stay flush with the cabin side. Then I beveled a few lengths of solid wood and made a support frame behind the plywood, which was temporarily fixed together using a hot glue gun. I applied a few strips of fiberglass on the four corners of the structure inside and outside, and let it dry overnight. The next day, I trimmed the dodger to the proper height and built a scudding frame using two strips of plywood and covered the whole unit with another sheet to make the top part. Unfortunately, we didn't film that part of the process as all hands were busy. The windows are drawn inside and then we fit the inside skin, also made of 7mm plywood, which is going to create a rebate for the clear acrylic sheets to sit in. The next part involves cutting the windows out, making sure to round the corners of the top parts as well. And here we go, our first window. The inside skin can now be glued. We used epoxy resin and stainless steel screws to hold it in place. You can see the rebate on the bottom which is going to be attached to the support frame. That way the dodger can be easily removed any time if needed.
The windows on the inside skin are cut to create the rebates and the screw holes and gaps need to be filled with fearing compound. It is important to create a big radius with the roof joints because the fiberglass is hard to bend and won't stick on square corners. Also sharp edges are really dangerous on boats. We then had to glass the support frame to the cabin top. We put the dodger back to check that everything fits alright or if any adjustments need to be made. Now it's glassing time. There are four layers of fine mat, two inside and two outside, covered with peel ply to maintain a nice and smooth finish.
Then the fairing takes place. It is definitely the longest step of this whole process. Each layer of compound has to set and then be sanded back. To optimize the sheet of 6mm clear cast acrylic, I used the patterns cut from the outside skin of plywood as they would be identical and trace them on with a fine pin. I used a very fine metal blade on the jigsaw and protected its sole with lots of masking tape to prevent scratches on the brand new windows. Glazing could be really messy with the special sticker black sealant and has to be cautiously set with masking tape. When applying the sealant, I chose not to paint the overlapping with a black primer but made sure to spread it around the rim. If I have to do it again, I would paint it with a spray can as I'm not entirely happy with the final result. However, Sika 294 UV has excellent bonding properties and it is extremely easy to apply. The only thing left is to peel off the acrylic stickers and tape and admire our new dodger. We hope that you enjoyed this video, stay tuned for upcoming episodes on the Rough Atom channel and our sailing adventures.